I thought I would run through my post training kind of routine, what I do to the horses every day, those little things to look after them and keep them on top form. So, first things first, I obviously give them a little bit of a wash down because they'll be super sweaty after a hard training session. So I have a little bucket um, and I would fill a kettle up with water if it's cold to give them a nice warm wash down. But if it's nice and sunny like it is today, then I'll just use cold water. Um, and I always use some sort of kind of leave-in wash. So I either use the NAF Love the Skin wash or the citronella, the NAF like citronella leave-in wash, more so in the in the summer to try and kind of keep the flies away. And then Aziz at the moment is having the Botanica cleansing wash. I saw this on Instagram, definitely influenced, um, being used by I think the Stampede stunt horses um, to try and kind of keep away sweet itch and stuff. So. This is the first time we've been using it this year, and so far he's not very itchy, um, but we will see what happens. Oh, the sun just went in and it's a little bit chilly. This is kind of definite gilet weather, isn't it? Because when it's super sunny, it's like really warm, and then when the clouds go over, it's, it's chilly. Anyway, <laughs> I digress. Um, step one, washing them down. on my equilibrium massage pad. My bag is a little bit dusty because I keep it in the stable so let's take it out. Here we go, the massage pad. It's got kind of straps that go around the belly and around the chest that tighten up. Um, the battery is in here and it is rechargeable and then the controls are in this pocket and then you've got a choice of low, medium and high and I think, I'm not actually entirely sure but if you let it run the whole program takes kind of 20 to 30 minutes can't get it back in now there we go <laughs> um, and it's just like a vibrating-y massage pad it keeps the back nice and warm so um, if I'm having a lesson or it's particularly cold for competition I will put this on as a warm-up <laughs> stable with the massage pad on to have their dinner with a kind of bucket over the stable so they don't have to like lean into the, the chest strap that's on the massage pad. Once they've eaten and the massage pad is finished, I don't always go for the 30 minutes, sometimes I just leave it on for whilst they're eating. I will then do the next step of um, kind of giving them a bit of a massage, feeling their muscles and things. So I use the NAF Arnica gel and I massage along their back down their hamstrings and down their tendons. It's really good for me. You don't have to use this specific thing or anything with Arnica in. There's loads of different gels, but it's a really good kind of um, way of getting a little bit more slip to give them a bit of a massage, make sure their muscles are feeling good. <laughs> So the treats are kind of, they're the ideal size for um, doing some stretches. So I use this as bait. 
I do a stretch each side down between the legs to really get them to stretch their back. Oh, I've got taste treats all over me now. Was that from the massage pad? Who knows? It's very dusty now. Um, and then I also, I stretch their legs, so I pick their legs up and stretch them um, back and front and I give them a treat once I've put the leg down for a stretch so they know that once they have done it and they've held it there that they'll get a treat. So sometimes now they'll even put their leg out and be like, can I have a treat now? <laughs> stretches I will then put some hoof dressing on so this is the one I use it's the Kevin Bacon hoof dressing and I just use like a, a normal brush to put it on the hooves it's a really kind of nice thick you can really tell it's kind of moisturizing and getting getting into the hooves like it takes a little while to soak in um, and I use this after every time as well <music> And then sometimes there's a few bits and bobs that I would do depending on how hard they've trained, the weather and things. So if I had a really hard training session, then I'll also put some ice boot wraps on or cold hose them down. If it's super sunny and the flies are out, then I'll, I will spray them with a fly spray, put some Deosect or the Nafdeet spray on. And for Azid, if he's been super itchy, then he'll have like either the and Martin Kill Itch Cream or we're trying out the Botanica Anti-Itch Cream. So hopefully that gives you a little bit of an idea about my post ride kind of routine, how I keep my horses nice and supple and how I kind of make sure that I'm feeling all their muscles as regularly as possible and that they're looked after as well as I can. It would be super cool to know if you have any kind of post ride tips and tricks and things that you would add to that, um, products you will use or kind of routines that you have. Um, and hopefully that was helpful. Thank <laughs> you.